Hi, welcome to another video by Dom Data. In this video, we walk you through the free Google Tag Manager audit worksheet. Um, this um, video is going to walk you through how to make use of the free worksheet um, to check the health status of your GTM container. So you have to just come on this particular on this page. There's a video below that you can watch, right? Um, then you just click on the end of the button if you prefer. Once you click on the button, um, you'll be able to. Um, first thing I recommend is um, creating a copy for yourself, making a copy for yourself, right? Give it whatever name you intend to give to the setup. Add to a folder. You click on make a copy for yourself. Um, boom, you have a copy for yourself. Then one last thing you have to do is just click on this button here. Open the open this document here. Make a copy for yourself, right? Uh, make a copy. Give it whatever name you intend to give to it, right? Um, it's your document. Um, then you come to this share here. You copy the URL. Um, then you, you place it here. You change it to what you have currently here right now. So you change it to what you have here. Um, right? You change it to what you have now. So you put the date of the audit performed by who the video tutorial will be here, which is the video we are currently making. So the next step you have to do is just um, to ensure that this power chart here, like the, the power chart, uh, resonates with like it's aligns with the color code for different um, stuff. So all you have to do is just click on, um, um, you can see a three black button here. You can click on it. It's going to show you the this chart. You go to the customize, right? Um, you click on the power slice. Ensure that correct is green, um, issue is red, improve is yellow, um, more info needed is um, popular, popular, I think, um, not needed um, is blue, right? Ensure that. And also ensure that you have set up as D um, forces, right? Um, you can always update that if you have more than 46 columns in your GTM audit. I'll walk you through that um, in a bit. Then one thing about this document that you made a copy of is like a Word document because most times people are not um, familiar with um, sheets or they have some kind of something I call people are sheet phobia, right? Um, so with this document, you can easily um, show them the issues you found in GTM with a screenshot if you have that screenshot, right? So um, next step you have to do is just um, come to this um, audit here. Um, there's um, different columns here. There's the audit category. There's a possible issue you should look out for. There's the extra like reason is just to educate you. And there's the status and there's the issue description. This is where you issue description. This is where you describe the issue based on what you are seeing in GTM, right? Then if you go next, you see um the fixing priority. Um is it an high, low, medium, fixed, is it a lot needed? So the priority in which is supposed to be fixed, then the recommendation based on what you recommend. And there's now a colon called how to check for this. So this is this guides you on how to check for any of the issues that is here. So um, if you look at the first step, um, it's actually different stuff. You look at this. Is there any tag not respecting GDPR or user privacy? You check. You select oh, um, this. You put in the issue description. You describe the issue more. You select the fixing priority and you recommend what should be done to fix that, right? Now in this tags, trigger, and variable, this is where you document your tags, your triggers, and variables in your GTM container. So basically how do you do this? Um, you don't have to start going to GTM. And going to tags, you copy everything one by one. No, you don't have to do that, right? You can always do it. Um, there's a way for you to do this easily. All you have to do is just click here, right? Click here, copy it, right? Um, click on copy, right? Copy or you click copy, right? You come here to this tag. You click on you, you click on add a sheet, right? Just paste it here. Everything comes here. You delete this part here. Just delete this one here. You can see you have everything back. Just copy this one from here. Um, everything here. To this part, based on what you have in your GTM, right? Um, paste it here. Paste it. Sorry. Um, sorry, just copy everything here from here to this firing trigger, right? Copy it, come here, you paste it right, sorry let me delete, you go to the top here, sorry to the top, make sure you are on the firing triggers part, 
then um, you copy the sheet here. Um, it's going to show you everything. Copy it. This is the folder. You go back to your tag doc. You paste everything in here, right? Then one thing you have to do is just copy this part here. Um, just you have to just select this here. You can click on um, paint format, right? You just select everything from here to this place. Then you are sorry, uh, sorry. Um, all you have to just do is format it based on what you really want. So um, I think the test here is Montreal Nine. You just select everything. You give you the monster right nine um, based on what you want, based on your filters, based on how you want to see it. Um, let me make it nine, yes. And let me also um, let me test wrap it, right? Then now, one beautiful thing about this is once you click on this, it opens straight to that particular tag. So it's, it's linked to that particular GTM tag. You see it? It's going to load right now. My internet is kind of acting out weird. Okay, as you can see, this is the exact tag. So once anybody clicks right from here, it takes them to the exact tag in GTM, right? If they have access to that container. So the same thing applies to your triggers. You go to your trigger also. Um, the same stuff here, right? You click, you copy it. You go to your tag. The same sheet here. You can always delete that. Just delete everything, right? Just select one, paste it right, so you can just delete this one here, delete that, delete, um, so you copy this from here, Go to the trigger. Um, sorry, you can just since there's no folder, you can scroll copy this part here. Um, go to the trigger. You paste the name to the event type, right? Um, you do for the tags and the, the number of tags here. This part. The trigger. You paste that. You can always change the formatting to what you want to Montserrat 9 right then you can also test wrap now you can just copy this for more formatting right. so if you click on this also it takes you to the, let's click on this right now it takes you to the actual trigger itself so you can see what the trigger setup is like um, it's trying to load. Um, let me take you to the actual trigger itself. My, maybe I kind of lost access to this. Um, the next thing you can do is just um, simply for the variables also. Same um, stuff applies for the variable. Copy that and you kind of format it and once you are done you can always delete this particular sheet then um you can have, you have a tag or your tag easily imported um your triggers your variables um there's a tool that also allows you to export your GTM container in a CSV format so you can see what and what you currently have so that is basically how to um uh, make use of these um, beautiful worksheets um you can always click into this part to change the um the container id right once you are done, you start putting your issues here also with a screenshot of what you found so that um, anybody who is not kind of comfortable reading from data from Google Sheets, they can use the Google Doc to see what issues and issues were pointed out, right? You can also decide not to just point out all issues in the Google Doc, but only point out um, severe issues like more critical issues. You can also do that. It's just based on your own, um, what is convenient for you, right? Um, remember the... Um, these are the, some of the possible issues that you look out for GTM container. 
um, when doing your audit. Um, that is just it for this video. This video is brought to you by Dumb Data. Um, it's a free analysis um, resource hub um, with um, a lot of resources in the area of event listeners, worksheets um, for different um, um, tools, right, for different um, needs and for different goals. And there's also um, data studio templates that you can make use of. We have a GA4 migration um, data studio te template. We also have um, a GA4 monitoring dashboard, right? A lot of um, dashboard. And we're also working on more dashboards. We're also working on um, two free tools, um, two free analytics tools. We'll make that um, known to you when it's ready and available to the public. We also intend publishing articles on different measurement topics. So uh, this is a site that you should always check around for updates on everything measurement. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Until then, happy measuring.